Hello, Paideia families. We have reached the end of our first quarter and you're gonna start seeing some communication coming out in your message boxes about grades. And so I wanted to go ahead and make a video for you to talk a little bit about grades. I wanna talk about how we do them in our elementary classes for K through six. I wanna talk about how it's a little bit different in our secondary classes, seventh through 12th. And then I wanna address kind of a big picture question of what is the point of a grade? What is the importance of it? What does it mean? when your child gets a certain marking on their report card or their progress report. Um, so let's dive in, let's talk about that. First of all, our elementary classes, that's kindergarten through sixth grade, they get a first quarter grade report and you're gonna see four of these come through. Every quarter they'll get a grade report. And on this report, you're gonna see markings that say kind of strange letters. They're not A, B, C, they're E, P, S, N, and U. So what do those mean when those come through? Well, E means excellent work. It means that your child has gone above and beyond expectations, that your child has um, fully completed everything that was asked of them if it's a completion grade. So that's what E means. P means praiseworthy work. It's work deserving of praise, both from the teacher and from the parent. It means that the student has met the expectations that we have for them, they fulfilled the goals. S means satisfactory. Um, I kind of also think of S as scraping by. They're, it looks like they're, you know, it looks like they're grasping for the goal and they're just about reaching it there. It's satisfactory, but maybe not quite praiseworthy where they're fully meeting all goals. Um, N means needs improvement. So the student is still progressing with an N, but maybe it doesn't seem as if they're quite progressing to the level that they need to be to meet the goals for that year. So N would be needs improvement. And then U is unsatisfactory. Um, this is a rare grade, but it's where a student doesn't seem to be progressing at all in a given area. So those are what the grade markings mean for the elementary grades. Uh, in secondary, we go ahead and we use the more traditional grade markings. So your student will see things like A, B, C, and F. We don't have a D grade because we think if it's below a 70, it really doesn't warrant enough to get a marking for that beyond beyond that it's a failed grade there. So you'll see those traditional grades going on in secondary. Now, when you see quarter grades reports coming through for elementary, or in secondary's case, progress reports, because they, they actually don't get a report card until the end of the semester. Um, they're just gonna see a progress report which shows where they're at after the first quarter is ending. When you see these coming through, what does it mean? You know, what does it mean if my child gets a P in penmanship? Or what does it mean if my child gets a B in math um, for the secondary grades? Well, it honestly can mean different things for different children. So if you have a child who struggles with coordination in kindergarten and they're doing their best to get those letters formed and they're trying hard, they're putting in the effort um, and they get a P that's praiseworthy, that's praiseworthy. That's excellent, okay? You know, it's not excellent, it's praiseworthy. But that is great that they did that. Um, if you have a child that letter formation comes extremely easy for them and they can go above and beyond what the teacher is requiring of formation, but they choose not to, and they choose to go fast and sloppy for them, but it still kind of meets the goals for their grade, then they're getting a P but they could be getting an E. So you want to evaluate your child when you're looking at the grades and kind of see, are they showing faithfulness to the time and the talent that God has given them? Um, so in secondary math, a student who's getting a B in a course that's extremely difficult for them and they're working hard, they're putting the time in um, and they're striving and they get a B, that is well done, good and faithful servant. If you have a student who has a lot of natural aptitude for it, the reason they're getting a B is because they're acing their test, but they're pretty sloppy and they're miss they're skipping things or they are not turning in work or only doing it incompletely because they don't want to spend the time on it. That B is not so well done, good and faithful servant. So when you're, when you're evaluating grades, you have to know the child who's receiving the grade. And to that end, we always include comments with the grades. And the comments are typically focused more on what do we perceive that the child is doing with virtue? 
Um, as you see, this tree behind me talks about the liberal arts and it shows that the fruit of what we're doing for education is we are seeking truth, beauty, goodness, faith, hope, and love for our students. We're hoping to grow them in wisdom, in grace, and in virtue. And um, that's the chief end of our education is to grow in these things as we know God. So the grade itself doesn't tell you anything, whether the student got a B in math or whether they got an S in penmanship. It doesn't tell you anything about the student's virtue apart from the comments that come with it. So what you're going to see on the elementary quarter grade reports is you're going to see the teacher has written out maybe a little paragraph about how the student is doing with their attitude, with their effort, and how they're doing in their quest to grow in virtue. With the secondary students, you'll see a progress report come through from the office that lists off, you know, here's, they're getting an A minus in this, they're getting a B plus in this. But then you also need to look out for the emails that are gonna come through from their teachers. In secondary, they're gonna go ahead and each teacher will send you a message letting you know how the student is doing in the class, and especially in that area of character and virtue, um, as well as in their academic performance. So that's something to be looking out for this next week. Um, in elementary, after you get these grade reports come through, there's also going to be an opportunity for you to meet with the teacher one-on-one. -on -one. And that is so, so helpful for us. If you and the teacher can sit down face-to-face -face and talk about your child so that we can um, work together to know that your child is known and loved to the fullest extent that we can here at Paidea. In secondary, just due to COVID, we've decided to move these communications to be virtual this year instead of instead of doing a round table sit down with the teachers. So you will get these emails from the teacher. If you want to at that point set up a Zoom meeting or an in-person meeting with the teacher, you're welcome to. Or if you, you want to just kind of communicate with them over class reach message, if you have questions, you can. But we're hoping that with the uh, messaging coming through from all the teachers that you'll be able to get a good picture of where your child is doing with their character and their growth and virtue in their classes. All right, so those are some exciting things to be looking out for this week. And if you have any questions at all about grades at Paidea or, um, you know, if you want to know, is this B a good B that my child got or is it something they should be striving for more, talk to your child's teachers about it or you can reach out to me. We'll talk to you later.